Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jimmy Ventura and in the booth with me is Rick Schiavone. Hello. Hello Jim and welcome JFW Universe to a special Monday Night Claw. One of the greatest Monday Night Claws we're ever going to have, I'm absolutely certain. So as a special celebration post-draft, we are having six huge elimination matches. And the first one is the people right on the cusp of title glory. The ones who have been on great win streaks, but maybe haven't quite worked in a, a run with the gold in the past. So which one of them is going to come out on top and stamp their mark on the brand new exclusive Monday Night Claw, baby? Woo! Could it be PTK? Glorious. What an entrance. I love PTK. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited for him as a singles wrestler. Yeah, it's really cool to I see. I'd be delighted if, it, to be honest, I'd be delighted if any of these six men won, whoever they might be. But uh, but yeah, I'd be delighted if PTK won tonight. I'll be honest, Rick. I'll be happy. I'll be delighted if the match finishes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. We heard him on the comms the last week on Monday Night Floor and Friday Night Stand Firm. It is the man with a plan, the technical maestro, the builder of extra arms bots, and the guy who likes to have a breeze between his knees, <laughs> Bezel! <laughs> Bezel! Glorious. He's had some pretty big wins in the past, hasn't he? He, he pretty much single-handedly killed dead Demon Prince Rick Reckless before it even got started. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, it sounds like Halo, this. It's Jack Bullock. Ah. <laughs> and here we go. It looked like finally in the last cross brand matchup for a very, very long time, the Battle Royale on Friday Night Stand Firm, that Stand Firm would finally get a victory over Monday Night Claw. It hadn't happened all week. And the one remaining claw wrestler out of many, many wrestlers still in the ring hung in there, literally, to the last. That was Jack Bull. He got the victory and has more than earned his place in this elimination matchup tonight. Can you imagine if he propels himself in two matches right to the top uh, with a win tonight as well, Jim? No, oh boy, it'll be amazing, won't it? And that would be the most meteoric rise since somebody gifted you a uh, hundred gift subs, I would imagine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. One thing's for sure, win, lose or draw, he will be celebrating at the end of the night. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the John Terry of the JFW. Do your slams, brother. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, baby. Well, from some new guys bursting onto the scene to a veteran of the JFW and the SFL. As a thought. <laughs> Has it been since the year 2000 that we saw him, Jim? Maybe it feels that long. Yep. <laughs> It's been but a while. He is an absolute badass of the JFW. Maybe it was back in the WWE 2K16 days. I can't remember, but this guy was a serial winner. And uh, I am delighted to have him back on Monday Night Floor. I think there could be great things in his future. There's great things in the future of one of the men tonight. So, yeah, will it be a dance, please? Could well be. Yep. Uh, might be... Subject to change than was advertised, Hancock. Uh, if you did see a preview, <laughs> but uh, but that's that's wrestling and TV all over, isn't it? You know, it keeps it fresh, it keeps it exciting. You never know what to expect in the JFW. We have surprised everybody with our wonderfully planned out extra special Monday Night Clause three six round elimination matches tonight. Woo! Woo! Glorious! <laughs> to all is planned. Totally. Totally planned. PC.
Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I was glad to pick him for Jimson Man, I tell you. <laughs> he has had some, uh, some massive, massive victories in the JFW RPC. He is the man with the voice. The man who doesn't need his vision to get the job done. <laughs> yep. Nah. Certainly on form, blubber wise. Nine wins in the NAFC. <laughs> that weekend. Yeah. Nine wins and 1160 TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to build a team with your eyes covered, Jim. <laughs> oh, dear. Be fair, like by far his hardest matches were day two, right? When his team was legal. Yeah, yeah. A golden rat, Chunter. Oh, baby. Chunterino was going to be in a triple threat tonight. <laughs> Instead, he finds himself in a six man elimination in the semi finals. He is of Chalice. So he'll be feeling fantastic going into this match. Will he be feeling fantastic coming out of it? Let's find out. Right now, he's facing off against Odontocles, and he takes him down. PTK getting the best of Jabal so far. PC trying to stop BZL, but BZL rolls up and huge right hands laying out PC. Odontocles trying to get rid of Chunterino, and he does. There he goes to the outside. They're going to fight out there for a while whilst the other four continue in the ring. Huge right hands from PTK. Jabal really struggling here. The size oh. of PTK just too much. We know he's got that early explosive power but he might struggle in six-man elimination, to be fair, because that is a long, long match if you're the one that's going to win. Oh, BZL from the top. Ooh. Oh, no, PC gets out of the way. BZL eats canvas. PC sixth sense telling him to move out of the way there. <laughs> that's right, yeah. Something smelt wrong in the air. And so uh, his instincts were to roll, and his instincts were fantastic. Feeds BZL into the turnbuckle. <laughs> And then launches him out the ring for good measure. PC, the last man standing in the ring, but that is not how you win this matchup. It is not a battle royal. All six men fighting on the outside. Jim, is it uh, falls count anywhere? It is not falls count anywhere. The pins have to happen in the middle of the ring. Unlike wow. the falls count anywhere matchup, a backlash between <laughs> when team misses Wagner and Trent. <laughs> that's uh that's that's good to know jim it feels like every single match in the jfw since then has had drastic amounts of out the ring action um, yes. but it's a good job that that one didn't because the fans oh, oh, got confused. oh my goodness oh this pcl darted into the ring post as javels fed into the steps oh this is getting violent like oh, you wouldn't believe Adontocles is struggling against Chunterino as well. Oh, How many feet of concrete tonight, Jim? Because an awful lot of wrestlers like Jack Bull are eating it. Oh, my days. There is only Easy three feet. Sorry, Jim. Yeah, I'll let you answer the question. Yeah, there's only three feet of con concrete. This is, you know, a temporary wow. stadium has been thrown up at the last second. So, yeah, only three feet. This is going to be exceedingly dangerous. Not much cushion in three feet of concrete. <laughs> Gosh, we, we better hope it holds. Um, <laughs> the stadium doesn't come around to, uh, come down around us. Three feet. Oh, golden walls of Chantorino. Golden oh, walls of Chantorino. Dottokli's in all sorts of trouble. Sits on his shell. Sitting <laughs> on his shell. Oh, man. He's had a battering outside as well. It might be time to tap. He's it tapped. is. It is. Oh, what a terrible return for Dottokli's. I hope we see him back to his best soon. Shake it off the rust. It hasn't gone yet. It oh, will man. not be him that is propelled to the top of Monday Night Claw. PC tossed off and into the apron. <laughs> PTK having a great match so far. Let's hope his stamina holds. Oh, but he's caught by Chantorino. Oh. Look at that. Somehow got him up and over into a, some sort of cross suplex brain buster. BZL oh, tossed boy. away by PC now. Chapel absolutely out of it. He's been completely battered by PTK so far. I'm not sure that he's going to fully recover. The other one that struggled uh, and has been absolutely splattered is BZL. I reckon the winner now is out of Chunterino, PTK, and PC. Oh, my goodness. Can't get Chunterino. What, what is going on with PTK? Maybe already running out of breath there. Usually not a problem PTK has with other men. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I mean, the outfit does it for me. What can I say? BZL rolls to the outside. I don't think we'll see him for a while. Oh, my oh. goodness. Oh, my goodness. Knockout blow. Oh, my God. And the choke slam. Choke slam as well. 
That has got to be the end of Jack. Well, he has been absolutely smashed this match. Of no, no. With the resilience that he showed to win the Battle Royal on Friday, he finds the kick out from the choke slam after an absolute pasting so far. But I think Chunter has got uh, some dastardly deeds in mind for him now. No. Re reversal, though. Shoulder tackle takedown from Jabal. He is not done yet. He's going to fight to the very last. Slapping him into submission. Oh boy. Slapping him into submission. Can we see the second tap out already? The second tap oh, out. No. no Chunter finds a way out, unlike Odontocles. Jabal fighting up the court by BZL. Oh, man. Chunter moving on to PTK, who's recovered and returned to the ring, but he gets Whoa. German suplex. Oh, man. That looked like it wiped him out. It sure PTK did. PTK looking pressure again now. Jabal! Samoan oh. drop on BZL. BZL has taken uh, a beating as well. Oh. And slammed into the ring post. But comes back with a jawbreaker. PC evolved as Chunter rolls to the outside. <laughs> Looks like it's PC versus Jabal. And PTK trying to pick up BZL. He gets him. Oh boy, he gets him. <laughs> oh, PC with a bit of acting. What a bad, what a bad mistake. <laughs> At the worst possible time. <laughs> whilst trying to wrestle. Oh my goodness, and Jabal. Also wiped out, it's PC versus PTK. Everybody else completely gone on the outside. And, and there goes PTK as well, maybe. Hangs on somehow, and PC brings him back in. Rude way. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. Have you ever seen the agility of PTK like that before, Jim? Uh, yes, but it was very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Bounced up as if he hadn't been hurt at all, and then performing a drop kick to the face of PC. PC going for a very ambitious pin. I don't think this is going to put him away. No, only a one count. Everything going on, Jabal. This is a good match so far. Loads of action and just the one elimination. Nice backbreaker from PC. Sends PTK to the outside. Oh, kick from Chunter, but it doesn't get him down. Right hand doesn't get him down. Golden walls of Chunterino. Golden walls of Chunterino. Oh, oh Basil. Oh, PC outside PC. PC outside PC from a devastating move that was surely the end. <laughs> why? Why would he do that, Jim? I don't know. He's who knows why he does anything. <laughs> to be honest. Oh, and he gets himself busted open by Chunter in repay, but Chunter absolutely <laughs> furious with PZL. PZL fighting out of the grapple. Somehow oh. Jackal's still moving. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, God, Chunter. Oh. <laughs> Chunter. That's PZL going to be hard. He has. Oh, my days. Chunter is go. just about to eliminate PC. And unbelievably, BZL not only breaking that up, but then eliminating Chunter. Chunter's going to be furious with BZL after this one. I think he may be a bit intoxicated. Don't don't quote me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's uh, as good a guess as any. Yeah. BZL yeah. taking it to Jackball now. Oh, man. How is Jackball even still in this match? Surely the end is nigh. Oh, PC can't get him up. PC can't oh get him up. God. Oh, and PTK saves PC. Why is everybody saving PC? <laughs> Did he come into a windfall that has paid off all the, uh, all the opponents? I don't know what's going on. Huge <laughs> choke slam by PTK on Jabal. But he runs to the outside. Press slam on PC. But oh. PCL pops up and saves him again. Oh, my goodness me. Whoa. Holy smoke, Chunter's still on the outside recovering from the devastation of BZL's asshole. <laughs> Can't blame him. Finally, finally moving now. PC taking it to PTK and BZL. Oh, and uh, PTK got some uh, bad intentions for BZL, but he fights back for both men. Drop kicks PTK. What a match BZL's having so far. Wow. Somehow reverses PC, punch to the gut, whips him into the corner. This could be the best performance of Bezel's career here. It, it really could, and it started with him being battered into the ring post <laughs> left and right. So uh, to come back from the... Oh, no! Oh, no, PC! Oh, no! And his spell, his sense of spell is heightened. His sense of spell is heightened. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, that's the most brutal thing we've ever seen in the JFW. <laughs> He's going to need another vacation after this one. Oh, oh my God. T-Bag driver, John Paul. 
He might drive, but he doesn't hang on. He doesn't hang on. Does he make the pin? Now he does. Surely the end of Jack Ball. Nobody can stand the T-Bag driver. It is. It is. It was a valiant effort because he took an absolute pasting from PTK at the start of the match and he hung in there for ages. But that is two victims to the T-Bag driver. Samoa dropped by PTK on BZL though. Doesn't go for the pin. Here comes PC. All three men determined to get the win and propel themselves to the top of Monday Night Claw. Oh, boy. Looks like a two-on-one handicap match against BZL. No, there we go. Oh, my word. PC goes for a ride. PTK standing Oof. tall. He's had time to recover. Oh, oh but BZL ball. reversal. Shoulder tackle take that out of nowhere. Surely not another T-Bag driver coming up. <laughs> Softening the arm, maybe for some sort of submission. Not sure how many submissions BZL has in his locker. <laughs> He's, he's, got, he's got quite a lot up his arsenal, to be honest. <laughs> well, I've never looked, so I'll take your word for it. PTK reversal and flattens him with a huge clothesline. And what's he doing oh here? God. Oh, oh my God. days. <laughs> Smashes him into the canvas. And again. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't want to pick PZL up like that. No. <laughs> I wouldn't want to pick up any man up like that to tell you the truth, but yeah, especially not Vaseline. <laughs> With that particular attire on. <laughs> Kick out at two! Kick out at two! How has he hung on? He is... Oh my goodness! PTK busted open and surely knocked out. Chokeslam! Chokeslam! Oh, no. Saved! Saved by BZL! Why is BZL saving all the opponents here? He's he wants to eliminate somebody. It doesn't all have to be you. He wants to eliminate everybody. Jim. <laughs> oh my god, he just walked into PTK. Amazing. He did, and he's, he's going to have to take a well-deserved rest on the outside. It might be the best thing for him, because now one of these can actually eliminate the other without Bezel accidentally breaking it up or deliberately breaking it up. Wow, great elevation on that big boot from PC. Didn't think he was going to get the height to kick the huge PTK in the face, but he did. Oh, and he... Stomps his face once more whilst on the floor, but uh, understandably, PC suck it air here because uh, it's been an epic long match so far. Oh, yep. jawbreaker. Jawbreaker to PC. No, oh, but he can't get the belly to belly. Catches it with an elbow. Oh, but then he still catches him. Gets him up. Throws him down. Adds in a stomp for good measure, and oh. this has got to be the end. Bezel not coming in to break this one up. Oh, for the boy. first time tonight. Oh, oh, good night. The PTK bomb, baby. Oh, he's he's not covering him, covering him. There you go. He took his time. He took his sweet time. Surely that's got to be enough. Yeah. It is. Oh, oh the oh, T-Mac driver. The T-Mac driver. Screw to be the new off. superstar. The Monday Night Glory. He's holding on. He's holding on. He gets him. He's done it. <laughs> Wow. Unbelievable performance from Bezel. Got absolutely smashed early. Been busted open for about half an hour, but eliminated three of the wrestlers, saved a couple of others that could have been eliminated earlier. And just absolutely like the greatest, <laughs> with one of the greatest performances we've ever seen from any JFW superstar. <laughs> just went through the competition like a knife through butter. Bezel, I cannot wait to see what he does against the uh, the big boys. Yeah, that is that is absolutely incredible, isn't it? Wow, wow. Maybe maybe that maybe you know taking part in the draft as the substitute for Gorilla Metso. Maybe that's like you know, maybe that's uh, set a fire yeah, under him. Set a fire, I think, Jim. I, I think he's got his taste back for the JFW. And uh, yeah, he, he wants some more. Cool. One JFW superstar you didn't think you could see any more of. Bezel, we <laughs> will be seeing more of him in future weeks. Oh, dude, incredible. All right, well. Next up, we've got the uh, the in this is incredible tag match. Uh, if you want to explain about that. Uh, yes, so... We got three of the greatest tag teams in JFW. 
the glorious ones. The scousers and dressed for business all uh, all in and around the title scene for many, many years. But what we've got here is a slight twist. We're, it's going to be interesting to see who comes out on top in this one because it is another six-man elimination. So uh, what we want to do is test the loyalties of the tag teams here. Will they stick together and work for each other or will they turn on each other? Uh, there, there is a, a historical precedence. I think it was the Headbangers, Mosh and Thrasher, who uh, maybe even picked up the titles by pinning each other in a similar match many, many years ago in the WWF in the 90s. So, uh, so will we see something like that tonight or will we see some straight-up great tag team wrestling? Who knows? Let's oh. find out, baby. Can't wait to find out. That sounds incredible. Good day, Koki. Um, no, Lemon, we don't mean the best tag team in two layabout teams, but the, you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it is, it, yeah, six man, every man for himself, going to be very exciting. Wanger and Jim have had their issues through, over the years, uh, <laughs> falling out on more than one occasion, but, uh, <laughs> you know, they've been a pretty good tag team of late, haven't they? But haven't managed to get that gold recently, or, re well, retain it when they got it. And then haven't been able to get it, win it back. So who knows? Maybe there's maybe there's trouble brewing in paradise there. And the Scousers could, always could well be. It's uh, yeah, it's this kind of match to to really expose the uh, expose the flaws and cracks in a tag team. If there's any trouble brewing, we'll we'll find out about it tonight. Whatever it is, it can't be as bad as Skurametso and J5. Yep. <laughs> Can't say anything while this is on. Stunned into silence, Jim. The following contest is an elimination match. Making his way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, weighing in at 220. <laughs> And now uh, we, we, we don't just get this entrance once tonight, of course. Like all of the entrances, we will get them twice as each individual tag team member enters the ring ready for their own personal glory tonight. But they are doing it for their tag teams. But how will they go about it? And will they function together? Or will it tear them apart? Cool, boy. <laughs> and you shut your mouth, Skuro Metzo. You don't know anything about winning titles. Oh no, you won once, didn't you, for a day? Way. Better <laughs> <laughs> uh, to have uh, won and lost than never to have won at all, I do. Yeah, I guess so. Of course, Wanger has. Uh... I believe won the B Championship. Uh, they've obviously both won the. Uh... Won the main. Oh yeah, yeah. Of course, Wang won, and, and uh, Jimmy won the AAB championship as well. So there you go. They've both been, both been AAB champ, both been tag champs. Brilliant. No, this isn't no lemon. No. If not Jim a, wins, it's not a, a title, title match, but uh, it's probably going to have a very, very heavy say on what is. Yeah. Oh yeah, Wang has got this entrance. <laughs> oh baby. Glorious. Oh baby. An entrance we don't get to see it off. The sexy boy himself, <laughs> table leg wanger. Yeah. Weirdly, the last time Jim Superman pulled that out, it was in the favor of Dress for Business. Yeah. Oh, hey, wanger. You tell him, Rick. <laughs> 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 Skuro pretends to love the JFW, but then he goes and does things like making a living instead. Oh, <laughs> dear me. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Space. That's true. <laughs> oh, glorious. <laughs> Everyone loves Lemon. Though. My bad, my bad. 
<laughs> I I'm having to drink quite heavily to get through this Monday Night Claws, Garo. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. Yeah, yeah, I, I do hope he's safe since the kidnapping. Not, not, no confirmed rumors that he's actually free. Yeah. Hope, hoping to find out on Friday Night Stand Firm. I'll be tuning in. Glorious. Hopefully, Friday Night Stand Firm works. <laughs> yeah, might, might actually have the card that's advertised. Mm. Uh, you know, as great as Monday Night Claw is, and uh, it's wonderful to have a surprise sometimes. Also, nice to have the card that's advertised on occasion. Yeah, sometimes. It would be good if a game worked, wouldn't it? Be good if a game that says you've got four gig of space didn't only have two hundred. Well, one hundred ninety-nine. You'd like to think. You'd like to think. Mm. Boy, howdy! What an entrance, though, from Fanfox. Don't see this enough. So, uh, who who won the title match at uh, Backlash, Jim? Uh, they did defend. The dress of business did retain the challenge. Yeah, there was lots of uh, lots of retains, wasn't there? Yeah. It was, uh, it was, it was a night of, for the champions at Backlash. Many, many successful retains, and dress for business were one of them. Our two hedge champions, ever since, handed on a plate by Jim McMahon, undeservedly. But since then, they've gone on to prove themselves very worthy champions. Legitimately beating CBT in a rematch later on. Defending at Backlash as well. And here they are tonight. Can they come out victorious once more? Or will we maybe find out the next challengers to their title? Yep. <laughs> and if there is a challenger, here he is with his streamer title. If there is a challenger to... Two heads championship. Surely it is this man, Hancock, the most dominant flip one cruiserweight champion we have ever seen in history. He has won nearly every match that he's had since entering the JFW, sometimes by hook, sometimes by crook, but he always gets it done. And uh, I would not want to be a champion with him gunning for my belt, and that's exactly what's going down here. I fancy the Scousers to win tonight, Jim, and to challenge for the two heads championships. Yeah, how can you bet against Hancock? Even in a six-man match, he's got to be the favourite, hasn't he? Even against he Wanger and Jimmy. Really, it's ridiculous. I don't know how he does it, but yeah, he's got to be the favourite. <laughs> it is, Skuro, it is. I'm still crying into my cup of tea about that. I genuinely, of all the dastardly steals, I think CBT is the one that hurts the most. Yep, I agree. <laughs> Damn that Gorilla Metal. I know, right? He, he comes back all friendly-like and like, hey, we're going to make a really great Friday night stand firm, and he does. And then he's like, you know what? We're, we're, we're just going to take a load of the wrestlers, and you don't have them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute ass. Other half of this phenomenal tag team, Steve Motti, <laughs> certainly holds his own as well. Had some huge victory, been the tag team champion before. Nope. Now a new chapter with Hancock in his corner. But nobody in nobody's corner tonight. Oh boy. All right, we're starting off legitimately, Jim. No tag teams going at each other. Everybody pairing off fair and square. Yeah, I like this. Good sign. It's a good start. It's what you'd expect. Oh, table leg wanger dumped out. Lemon dumped out. Ooh. And <laughs> Steve Body dumped out. Oh, oh Fan Fox is feeling already. We're getting a little bit of crab. <laughs> Steve, no stranger to crabs, of course, being a scouser. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> do not let this slip exactly to me. <laughs> Hancock fed back into the ring by Table Egg Wanger. Here he comes. Fan Fox diving away from Steve Money, but he chases right after him and catches him with the elbow and spears him. Spears Fan Fox onto the three feet of concrete. <laughs> Oh my days, three feet of concrete, they might fall down into the center of the earth, Jim. This is dangerous. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, it's so, it's so fragile. <laughs> at least, at least it doesn't hurt. Oh, Jim rolled up by 11! Jim rolled oh. up by 11! Oh, he kicks out. Will any of the tag teams save their partners from pins and submissions in the elimination, Jim? I don't think they will. I think they probably should all work together a little bit, but, you know, they're under strict instructions from Mr. Jim McMahon that they're not allowed to, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're not going to uh, break up any... And of course, it's it's not necessarily easy. Like you're outside the ring fighting Table Egg Wanger, are you really going to be able to stop Fan Fox pinning Steve Motti, for example? Yeah, exactly. Figure of four, figure of four of Fan Fox. Mm -hmm. One of the champions might be out. Does he tap? Mm -hmm. Is it just going to be Lemon? Oh, oh he powers he through. He turns it over somehow. And uh, Jim McMahon eyeing up getting involved. Wants a piece of Steve Motti for himself. Got some payback to give from previous matches. All three men going at it. Lemon on the outside, and it's a three-way dance from different tag teams. We have had absolutely no cross-tag team wrestling so far. All six men being consummate professionals. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of which, have that Hancock. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we've uh, we've seen Table Leg Wanger lose matches before with a low blow, but absolutely no disqualifications in this one, and Hancock busted open. I think we're a bit early calling the Hancock win. Oh, look at Van Fox! Van Fox oh, taking out Lemon! Van Fox! Van Fox attacking Lemon! Oh my god. The first! Oh, and he's, he's giving him some payback! Is there trouble in paradise? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, the champions wanting to see who is the real champion out the two. I tell you what, we've definitely had trouble before with Dress for Business not tagging and not saving each other. It's probably the thing that cost them getting the belts until they did. Yep. They've always had the ability. Oh my goodness, sharpshooter, no. Just stumps the gut of Hancock. Hancock in a really bad way. Oh, Steve getting a dig in there. Getting a little dig in Steve the with ground. a cheeky dig saying, come on, Hancock, get it together. And that could be it for Hancock. He's had a battering and a bruising on the outside. No, he slips through. Oh. Steve Motti now going oh, for Table Fun Leg Fox. Wanger instead. Tries to double team, but Hancock gets out of there to go after Fan Fox, who is fighting Lemon again. <laughs> Definitely. The biggest issues right now with Dress for Business. The other two tag teams mostly working as they should. What is going on with Dress for Business? <laughs> Can they get it back together when the titles are on the line? Go! Oh. In future weeks. Oh. Figure of four again! Figure of four again on Table Leg Wanger! Oh, he's in pain, Jim! He's oh. in pain! He might tap. Oh, he powers through. Somehow turns it over, puts the pressure on Steve Motti's leg, and up they get. Jim! Thrown into the ring by Lemon. I thought he might be going into the stairs. <laughs> and got down again. He's really having a rough one oh here. My oh, my God. word. Table leg wanger. Tossed out into the concrete. Lemon catching his breath. Hancock <laughs> slammed onto the concrete by Fan Fox again. I have never seen Hancock this badly beaten in a match. That is not to say that he's definitely going to be eliminated, of course, but uh, it doesn't look good. Oh, man, it doesn't look good. Head first into a ring post. Oh. Something a bit off about Hancock tonight. He is really not giving anything back. Not looking good for Jim either. Boy, trouble. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, he rolls to the outside, though. Good ring awareness. Oh, but and then he pins table leg. <laughs> Kicks out at one, though. Ambitious pin from Lemon. Incredibly ambitious. New reversals going on here. Table leg fighting back against Lemon. Steve Motti gets in on him. Going to be double teamed. Lemon catches Steve Motti by mistake. And then eats a drop kick from Table Leg Wanger. Hancock finally putting some moves together. <laughs> Takes down Fat Fox. Hancock's turn around. Oh, holds on for the pin. But surely that's not enough. Oh, oh nearly was. Two and a half. Oh, no, no, Wanger, no. Oh, wow. Wow, Wanger. <laughs> got some payback to give to Jim. 
feels like he's been carrying the team alone for a while. I mean, I'm just guessing. I don't know. <laughs> you, you couldn't blame him. Oh. oh, Jim. Jim say, get out of the way, Steve, buddy. <laughs> I, I want a piece of my tag team partner. Oh, God. All right, that's the end of that for now. Oh, nice backbreaker from Jim on Steve Motti. Hancock has fa uh, Fan Fox at his mercy, but has to catch his breath. Has had an absolute battering on the outside, and it's beginning to show. Steve Motti making a great comeback against Jim, but there he goes. Oh, oh, oh. now the Scousers! Now oh the Scousers God. going at it. All three teams at some point. Fighting amongst themselves. No one's, no one's going to do so. Out of there. Right. Will they, will they all fall like a pack of cards once the first guy gets eliminated? It could be like that, couldn't it? Lemon going for this, look. Wow. Victimizing <laughs> yeah. Fan Fox. No, no, no Hancock. Yeah, it doesn't sound good. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, he gets him! No. Lemon eliminates Fan Fox! Wow, the first <laughs> elimination! <laughs> wow. 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 The disrespect from Lemon. Brutal. The champions. How how do you come back and defend your titles at 100% after that, Jim? I don't know. It seems like a crazy thing to do. And now the Scousers are going at it. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God, no way. Eliminated Hancock. <laughs> oh, not quite. Not quite. Oh, no blow. Well, Lemon oh, might be oh, gone. Lemon. That has got to be the end of Dressel Business. Oh, oh God, he's really gone now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's it he misses. Pin him. with the tune on the band, gets a drop kick in the end to send Steve Motti to the apron as Hancock grapples with Jim. Lemon finally recovers. Oh, Jim Bottom, Jim Bottom, Jim down. Bottom. Oh, Lemon with a lovely maneuver, holds on for a pin. He's got him. He's got no. him. Oh, no, two and a half. Table yeah. legs somehow hanging on. Hancock wisely rolling to the outside after a Jim Bottom. Jim, yeah. side rush and leg sweep on Lemon. <laughs> Look at Hancock and Steve Bottom. <laughs> 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 that looks like a typical pair of scousers on a Saturday night out. <laughs> this is uh, not necessarily a family friendly show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Wanga busts open oh, Jim no. and Pile drives him! Pile drives him! Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, and he would be cheating on the band, maybe, but there's Lemon, and he sees him. Lemon whips him onto the apron and then turns his attention to Jim. Mm, this God. could be bad news for Lemon. Slaps it a submission, but here comes Table Leg. Breaks it up. Oh, my goodness, the glorious ones working together. Will there be reprimands from Jim Swimman afterwards? They have broken the rules and worked as a tag team. <laughs> Unbelievable, It's good to Jim. see, though, isn't it, Jim? It is. It is. Heartwarming. <laughs> that could be that could be a ban though for a, for the glorious ones for a certain amount of time yeah. we'll find out next week yeah but then if they win this match which they could well do what can Jim McMahon do about that exactly give them a title shot probably <laughs> <laughs> it's yet to be seen of course <laughs> they are only 40% of this remaining matchup. Although you wouldn't fancy Lemon as only one half of a tag team after choosing to eliminate his tag partner, Fan Fox himself. Yeah. Ooh, Scouse wow. is now double teaming Lemon. This is exactly the kind of problem that Lemon could get into. Oh, no, but the Scousers! Ooh, Steve Mayer right. realized he was the only one left in the ring with Hancock, and he floors him. Oh, my oh, God. Two and a half. The second time he's tried to eliminate Hancock, and the second time Hancock's kicked out. Oh, and uh -oh. now Wagger shooting up the battle. Steve's Steve in Bonnie. trouble. Steve is in trouble. A lot of trouble, Jim. Sweet oh, he doesn't miss a second music. time. And that has got to be Steve Motty gone. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> the only team now with both members remaining, the glorious ones. Wagger is missing with more shooting up the bands tonight than he's hitting. <laughs> oh, my God. The glorious ones working in perfect harmony. Is that the end of Lemon? It, it is! is. It oh, is. wow. 
Glorious ones! Two against one! Oh, Jim going for Wagger! No, Jim going for Hancock. Jim trying to save Wagger from Hancock. Oh my god. Oh, and he what? Does. He breaks up the pin, Jim! He breaks oh up the pin! God. The second time tonight! The second oh time tonight! God. And the glorious ones have thrown the rules in the face of Jim McMahon. Oh and said, God. we're not having this. We're working as a team. We're going to win this matchup, but we're going to earn ourselves a title shot. There's no darn thing you can do about it. That's outrageous. Look at the blood on Jimmy, though, Jim. Yes. Holy crud, he's taking a battering. <laughs> it's horrendous, yeah. And it is Hancock. Yeah. There's one man you wouldn't want to face in a two-on-one. Yeah. And it is Hancock. We saw like Jack Bull win like a three on one before. I mean, how can you bet against Hancock winning a two on one? Yeah, you, you really can't. He had a terrible start to the match, but uh, he's slowly worked his way back into it. <laughs> Survived his own partner, tried to eliminate him twice. Jimmy feels he's got this, though. <laughs> Jimmy feels he's got this. Yeah. Slaps into submission. I think that is it. Mm -hmm. I think with all the damage that Hancock's taken throughout this match, he's got to tap now. No, gets out. Oh my oh, God! Boss, Jimmy. That's it. That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. No, no! the classic Jimmy fantastic kick out. <laughs> oh, he reverses Wagner. Hancock standing tall, oh, loving man. life, beating the glorious oh. ones up single-handedly. That's gotta be Wagner. Gotta be. It, it is. is. It is. It's Hancock versus Jimmy. Oh my god. Whips him into the corner. The amount of blood, it's horrific. Somebody stop the One, damn match. Two, three, four. It's like a slaughterhouse, Jim. <laughs> oh, Jimmy with a. Oh, oh, Jim Bottom! Jim Bottom! He's going to do it! Ones, to be the number one contenders! Surely yes. even Hancock doesn't kick out of this! Even Hancock doesn't even kick out of this! It's Jimmy's, he's done it! Yes. No! Oh my goodness! What? Me. Oh my I goodness! Have me. No, my way. <laughs> no way! No way! No way! That's outrageous! How does he do it? What is the Hancock made of? Like from Jim. The first like ten minutes he got destroyed by Wanger. How is he? How is he still? He's been in like an hour long match. He's bleeding like a pig. Like there's just no way you kick out of that. <laughs> oh, Jimmy sucking air. You can imagine why. Yeah. Look at the blood streaming down his face. Hancock pops up. Hancock's got him. No way. Hangs up for the pin. No way. Hancock for the stars. Oh. No, Jim kicks out. <laughs> Could be here a long time, guys. Oh. Neither of these guys like to stay down. Here we go, the kick to the face. Oh no, Jim oh, dodges Jim it! Out the way. Yes. Jim looks out of the way! Self rock bottom! Self rock bottom! Yes! What's Hancock got now? What can he do? Jim reverses! <laughs> oh man! Oh man! He is calling for the power of parts unknown! Hey. Oh! Sends Hancock crashing out the ring! But Hancock bounces straight back in as if it's the start oh, of the match! Jim Bottom! Jim Bottom this time! This That's... time for sure! That's one gotta be it. performance from Jimmy Fantastic! Deserving win! The Glorious Ones are the number one contenders! Yes! Woo! Glorious! Carrion! Oh, I love this guy. What a win though, unbelievable. But will there will there be repercussions from Mr. Jim Smith Man, I guess? Yeah, honestly. Like that that is why they've won. Like there's no getting around it. Yeah. There was two of them left till right at near the end because they kept breaking up each other's pins. Nobody else did that because they weren't allowed to. There has to be something. I don't know what it's gonna be. You can't stop them being the number one contenders, but you can't just let them get away with that. Yeah. Oh man, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. <laughs> look at... He doesn't look like a winner exactly, does he? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know! But somehow... Somehow oh, wow. he did it. Unbelievable. Oh dear. He is Mr. Richard. Goodness me.
Wow. Absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> Hancock complaining about the glorious ones cheating. That's a little rich. <laughs> That's a little rich. <laughs> Isn't it just, yeah, of all the people in all the world. <laughs> um, oh. Right. Well, we've got a we've got a bigger boys match now, haven't we? Oh boy, yes we do. Some of the greatest heavyweights and super heavyweights in JFW history. We've got the uh, the extra arms belt champion himself, the recent contenders, the recent world champion, and the man that cost him his world championship. And uh, and then on top of that, we've got uh, one of the wrestlers in the greatest form in JFW right now. All going to go at it. Your guess is as good as mine. Anybody out there in the JFW universe, I have no idea. Who is going to win this one? Yep, it's going to be exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just thought that would be funny to kill all the hype. But uh, <laughs> it's not what you should do, is it? Yeah, it's, it's going to be really exciting. Yeah, as, I mean, Rick said it all, but wow. I still can't believe the, the, the Jimmy Fantastic victory there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What an epic match. What an unbelievable win, despite being drenched in blood. But what a way to get the win, working together as a tag team. Yeah, and it's what the tag team division's about, right? So, like, I, I really respect it. But I, I don't know. Part of me wouldn't want to be the glorious ones come the morning and Jim Whitman gets his hands on them. Yeah. I mean, that goes for pretty much every morning, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy oh here we go let's get the ring that was some match that really was some match it sure was oh my god the following contest is in a match. he doesn't get any less awesome does he Jim he doesn't he really doesn't absolutely incredible and huge, glorious victory for his creator tonight. Will his creator have programmed him with the same stuff? Will we see Master and Commander Padawan and uh, and Master again? I, I'm coming up with terrible metaphors. Uh, will we see creator and createe, Frankenstein and his monster? Will they both win tonight? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely glorious. Boy, howdy. He didn't get it done at Backlash Jam. <laughs> He didn't. And here we go, baby. <laughs> Russia, who was on a hot streak, but also couldn't convert into becoming the extra arms belt champion at Backlash. Will he start to climb again towards the belt tonight? Um, weirdly from Minotaur, I hear that he won Horse of the Year on the BBC recently. I, I, there was some sort of mix-up. Oh, that's bizarre, isn't it? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense at all. So, Jim, story story of Horse of the Year today is that um, for 20 years, I've had this like classical music piece stuck in my head, right, that I, I played recorder on when I was like 10, and I've never come across it since. And I sing it to my chat, and El Dudorino immediately says, that's the theme from Horse of the Year. And he, he I thought he was memeing. He was dead on. I play Horse of the Year theme. That was exactly what it was. <laughs> oh, my God, Morita. <laughs> <laughs> Why wow. Rick was playing this as a 10 year old, we'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. He's got the brains, he's got the brawn, he's got the athleticism, he's got the moves, he's got the strategy. There is nothing this man doesn't have. He is on unbelievable form in the JFW. Is he on a collision course for the extra arms belt? 
We'll Maybe. find out tonight. He's Physics, gigantic baby. as well, isn't he? He's actually gigantic. You know, he's going to look tiny here next to Crusher and EAB, but he's he's going to dwarf Rick and Tony. He is absolutely, he is an absolute beast of all in his he's own right. He's a specimen. He, he is a physical specimen. But yes, <laughs> tonight, maybe not the night to be like, wow, look how big physics is. Yes, he's going to look tiny. <laughs> but he is. He's a physical specimen. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Oh boy, and here is Rick. Dastardly Rick Reckless. He came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> he did, he did. And he's not been on the best form. He was maybe wandering a bit in the dark. He'd lost his belt. He lost his quad skulls. What was he going to do? Well, we found out at Backlash. <laughs> For some reason, he decided to take out Tony Plays Paulie on the cusp of retaining his title. Ultimately cost him that title and cost him his place on Friday Night Sam Firm. And so Rick and Tony find themselves here on Monday Night Claw, both titleless. And it's the first time that Tony will have a chance at redemption, a little bit of revenge. Will he go straight after Rick? Will we see him get one back over him tonight? I can't wait to find out. Yep. <laughs> And of course, there's a there's another there's another story involving Rick here tonight, Jim. And this is the first chance that Rick's got to get his hands back on Goliath Games since losing the title to him at WrestleMania. Yes, very good point. Wow. Will he have PTSD from that hellish structure, or not? <laughs> two of his biggest defeats have come in Hell in a Cell, haven't they, poor Rick? They, they have. He's lost two, twice. He lost the title last year or this this last twelve months in Hell in a Cell. At least he didn't break his leg, but it could have been on his mind. That could have affected his WrestleMania performance. Yeah. <laughs> Talking of having your performance affected, turns out that a naked Rick Reckless swinging on a ball and chain, colliding with you off a six foot, no, sorry, like a, a 15 foot steel cage, can, uh, can upset your title defense, Jim. <laughs> yeah. And I tell you what, they can't teach you how to fall. <laughs> That'll have really <laughs> taught me. <laughs> Hitting the deck after getting smashed by a wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right, exactly right. So, what on earth is going through Tony Plays Paulie's mind after that? Got a huge win, though, didn't he? Um, he did, yeah. Last week, it looked for all the world like uh, Night Demon would beat him, but Tony Plays Paulie showing his, uh, his perfect openness. And, uh, and somehow <laughs> kicking out and getting the victory. <laughs> yeah. He only gives up sometimes. Indeed. Very rarely. But sometimes. <laughs> oh, dear. But baby. Do it sometimes. Oh, yeah. Our final saving the best for last entrant tonight, the Extra Arms Belt Champion. People were starting to question his title reign after a couple of dodgy losses on Monday Night Claw, but then he proved his worthiness at Backlash, defeating both Extra Arms Bot and Crusher, who'd been on fire up till then. Yeah. Lovely to see him still as the champion after his long, long road to winning it at WrestleMania. The live games. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Will we find out who is gunning for the title tonight, though? Or will he defend? Will he win to himself and uh, thwart all comers? Maybe that would leave only uh, only BZL gunning for it. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> will he? <laughs> oh, I, can't, I, can't even, I can't even say what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, I can't even try. <laughs> oh my god. Will he beat off all comers? <laughs> Oh, 
Will he beat Rick's wrecking balls? Will he beat Tony's O penis? <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I don't, I don't think anybody's beats Rick's beats Tony's O penis. <laughs> Not normally. <laughs> Not normally, but the odds are stacked against him tonight, Jim. Uh, Night Demon tried, but he, he was left wanting. Oh. Uh, I hear that Crusher's hung like uh, a Minotaur. <laughs> yep. Oh my oh, god. Oh, Rick sent to the outside live wow. games immediately trying to prove that WrestleMania was no fluke. Wow. Absolutely smashing into Rick. Wow, wow, wow. Sorry, I uh, lost my vision for a moment then. Uh, these, these, uh... Headbands slipped over my eyes. <laughs> Extra arm spot, getting the best of physics. Rick fight back against Goliath Games. Crusher going after Tony plays Paulie. This is where oh we're at God. at the moment. Side rush and leg sweep onto the concrete. Oh, Tony plays Paulie. Fed into the ring post. But I tell you what, it didn't stop uh, Bezel from winning earlier. Oh my word, twice though. Oof, twice is a bit much. Fuck's sake, Tony. Stop being shit. Oh wow, Crusher didn't put down Tony with a with a clothesline. That is pretty impressive resilience from Tony. We do know how overpowered he is. Oh, Goliath Games fed into the ring post. The champion suffering at the hands of the ex-champion. And again, and again. Extra arms bar, absolutely destroying physics so far. Oh no. Oh man, physics needs to turn this around. Rick! Oh, oh. hardest part of the ring. Oh, it's part of the ring. You're not wrong, Jim. <laughs> Look at how high Tony goes up before he comes crashing down oh onto the tiny God. three feet of concrete. <laughs> I don't know how that three feet of concrete is holding up under all this weight. I know. Getting hit by Tony's back, I'd imagine the concrete to break, to be honest. Exactly. Exactly. The concrete taps out more often than Tony does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rick. The Ooh. diving clothesline, taking down Goliath Games. Physics trying to get away from extra arms bar. Can't blame him for that. Going after Rick and Goliath Games instead. They're fighting at cross purposes. <laughs> oh my word, everybody hitting everybody. <laughs> Physics takes down extra arms bar, manages to use the distraction. <laughs> Crusher still destroying Tony. Tony having a really terrible time of it so far. Physics has finally turned things around. And Hurricane Rana's extra arms bar, again showing that insane athleticism. How he got up to Hurricane Rana, extra arms bar, I will never know. Goliath Games fed back into the ring by Rick. Will we finally see an elimination? Oh Physics God. slapped in a submission, but that will not count. <laughs> Even if extra arms bar taps, the ref will not accept that submission on the outside. It has to be in the ring. Yep, this is oh. not false count anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. Hence why everybody's fighting on the outside. Yep. Unlike, of course, the match from Backlash between Trey and Mr. That wonderful stipulation <laughs> and was used to absolute maximum capacity. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, Tony busted open, I think. Oh, my God. Oh, physics onto the steel steps. Goliath Games absolutely destroying Rick. Oh, wow, Goliath enjoying himself. He really Four. is. Gyrating over Rick's prone... <laughs> Body. All the big guys on top right now. Oh no, Tony with a counter. Oh yeah, well, you're right. Tony's not had a good time with things, and he's still not. You're right. It is the super heavyweight dominating this matchup. But will they burn out earlier? That is the question. Or will they eliminate the little guys before they do? This is really where we're at right now. Oh my word, Goliath Games just absolutely KOing Rick. But we should really focus on the in-ring action because that's where we might get elimination. I was going to say, wow. Physics turning it around, but a huge DDT. A huge DDT. And he's going for the pin. No, he picks Physics back up. <laughs> Throws him onto the apron. Well, compared to who you're against, Physics. <laughs> oh! And, uh... and now Goliath Games and Rick, the two in the ring. Rick just that little tiny bit quicker than Goliath Games there. My God. Takes him down, drags him back up. Oh my word. Oh my, oh my God. word. Go for the Crucifix Power Bomb. Surely he doesn't have the strength. He does. He does. Oh Crucifix Power Bomb by Rick. God. Is that the champion gone first? 
Oh, the disrespect. Oh, the humiliation. The champion out. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is, Jim. Oh, my God. First out. Wow. Is Rick going back after his old championship? Getting one element of revenge over Goliath Games. It doesn't win him his old belt. But he has just got one back for WrestleMania. Can't believe it. What a what a what a happening. It's outrageous, Absolutely isn't it? Absolutely huge. But now physics setting up the superplex. Rick in all sorts of trouble. Oh my this god. Glory didn't last long. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> Tony's just getting killed by Crusher. <laughs> just casually. Absolutely murdered, yeah, you're not wrong, Jim. This has been a Destroying, I thought we were getting the most overpowered superstar in the JFW, but Crusher making him look like a little boy. <laughs> Extra arms about saying he thinks he's had enough. He has? Oh, oh no! <laughs> Classic Tony kick out at two and three quarters. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my word, Jim. Imagine being pummeled one after the other by EAB and Crusher. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that sounds like some Fault Force fanfic. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a reality for Tony Plays Bully. <laughs> Thankfully for him, they've turned on each other now. They've been at each other's throats recently on Monday Night Claw. And then they couldn't get it done at Backlash. And now they're trying to prove that they are the true big guy of the JFW. So the others join in in the ring. Five men going at it now. Or three men, a monitor and a robot. <laughs> yep. Tony plays ball, he finally fighting back. He has recharged the way that the super heavyweight struggled to. Rick wants to put Crusher away. Physics, Ooh. does he have anything to say about Ooh, it? Yes, cuts him off. Physics gets him. Saves Crusher surely from elimination. Oh and then God. Crusher just obliterates both of them. Oh. Is EAB going to save Rick? Yes. yes. <laughs> Ring awareness, not high on the priority list of these five competitors. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what's he AP doing? <laughs> Thought he was doing Amber Heard then for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, EAB smashing physics into the canvas. Crusher pins Rick. That is the end of Rick's hopes. No! no! The Rick kick out. The Rick kick out is there. Oh, EAB can't get physics up. <laughs> Tony plays ball, he comes in, tries to take out both men, but he's a flying oh. forearm from physics. Oh, oh my goodness, it. what a power bomb from Crusher. Rick rolls to the outside. That's the only reason he survived. Jawbreaker from EAB. Elbow to the top of Crusher's head. Huge right hand takes him down. Crusher rolls to the outside. Physics oh beating on Tony plays ball, he slaps in a submission. Oh my god. Tony, only taps sometimes. <laughs> He's tapped! He's given up! He's given up! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh baby! I mean, he was basically killed by Crusher, wasn't he? So that's why. Really, really was. He really, really was. Wow. No O penis tonight from Tony. It is going to be one of Rick Reckless, Physics, Extra Arms, Bottom Crusher to stand tall. And victorious tonight on Monday Night Claw. Oh boy. Oh my goodness, what a slam from EAB. Is it in a really bad spot? Is this the camel clutch? I think it is. Are we going to get another tap? Another tap. Oof. Rick breaks it up. Wow, Rick breaks it up. Rick? Rick wants physics for himself. He didn't want EAB eliminating physics, but he's got himself in trouble. Physics now, trying to control Rick. No, Rick finding the elbows. Whoa. EAB diving in there. Can't get Physics off. Wow. How heavy does Physics weigh, for goodness sake? <laughs> Breaking the laws of Physics there, I think. <laughs> he really was. He Whoa. really was. Oh, my goodness. This is a mess. <laughs> it's an absolute mess. We need Crusher in to get some san restore some sanity back to this match. Physics seems out of it now on the canvas. Rick trying to pummel EAB. EAB fights back. Rick fights back. Nobody can get on top, it seems. Neck breaker from Rick. Nice. Crusher rejoins the action. 
also going after EAB. Oh, God, what a move this is. Oh. Rogue slam! Brutal. EAB rolls to the outside. Physics whips Rick into the corner. Oh, Crush him with a big move. Ref goes down. Ref goes down. <laughs> Physics and Crusher double teaming Rick. Oh, Crusher clears them both out. Oh, no, Physics. <laughs> Oof. Eats turnbuckle. Ref's recovered. Oh, Crusher going to put Physics away. Oh, my God. Powerbomb. Good night. Definitely good night, Physics. No! Oh my goodness! He just broke every scientific law with that kick out. <laughs> How on earth? How on earth? <laughs> oh man, Crusher destroying AAB turns his attention back to Physics. Rick hasn't been conscious for about half an hour. <laughs> Physics slips out the back. Wow. Crushes Crusher. Stop in a hole. Oh, very nice. Oh, what? What a what a leg drop on the apron. Physics loving it, but has he seen EAB? He has. Oh, oh. elbow from EAB. EAB was playing possum. Backbreaker on Physics. Oh physics looks God. dead. Oh, what an elbow oh drop. Holds on for the pin. And That's it is it. the end of physics this time. <laughs> oh, my God. Kicked out just three minutes too late. Rick to the oh. top row. What have you done? What have you done, Rick? What oh, have you Rick, done? No. <laughs> Rick going to be superplexed for the second time this match. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, Rick. Oh, no. Somehow fights up. Knocks EAB over. How is he finding this? Where is it coming from? Oh, no. It oh. comes to a crushing end. Huge clothesline from EAB. Oof. Massive elbow to the head. Whips him out <laughs> onto the concrete. Goes after him. No crusher for ages now. Finally yeah. stirring on the far side. Yeah, he may have recharged his batteries. He was out for a long time. Oh, no. Oh, Rick. No. They're both coming for him. <laughs> no, Crusher. Oh, Crusher goes free AB. Crusher's Crusher goes free AB. Oh. Whips him into the ring post. Oh, my God. Rick sneaking up on Crusher. <laughs> Wait. Rick? Wait. When? What are you doing, Rick? Oh, God. What are you doing, Rick? Oh, oh my God, God. He missed. He missed. <laughs> they have shattered his elbow. It seems all, uh, all right, though. <laughs> Actually seems reasonably okay. Yeah. All three competitors, not men, competitors <laughs> in the ring. Spear. Oh, my Spear. God. That could be it's it. It's the two big guys left. That is definitely Rick gone. For some reason, the ref took an age for that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> Brings EAB chops Crusher, rolls onto the apron. Crusher dead to the world. Everybody dead on the concrete. EAB coming after them. This is bonkers, isn't it? Absolute madness, Jim. Oh, Crusher blocks the right hand. Counters with the knee, right hand of his own. Can't get him down. Super kick. Super kick, but it doesn't count on the outside. It is not false count anywhere, or surely that was the end of EAB. <laughs> Feeds him back in to get the pin. Rick up to all fours, but he is not Copas Mentis yet at all. Camel clutch! Camel oh clutch on God. EAB! These big guys love the camel clutches, don't they? They really do. They really do. Oh man, Crusher with a devastating clothesline to EAB. Picks him up. Whips him into the corner, but here comes Rick. Oh, Takes down Crusher. No <laughs> Takes down Crusher. Oh. Trying to crank off the Minotaur head. Got him by the horns. Oh my goodness. Oh, Crucifix can't. can't. He can't. He can't. Crucifix oh, Powerbomb! 
Oh my god! Oh my goodness me! Crush it to the outside! Extra arms butt and Rick collide! Not surprisingly, extra arms butt comes off the better. Huge <laughs> slam! Oh no, Rick! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my oh, no. god! <laughs> He's dead! He's absolutely dead! Yeah. Just end it now, EAB. This is. Just pin him! Holy moly, have some mercy, but he's a robot. What on earth? Rick turns it around in the corner. Goes up to the middle rope. Bulldog. <laughs> Knee to the back, gets him down. Have to use all of the leverage. Going up top. Oh, brain's worming Rick out. Gets in the way. <laughs> brain's wormsing out. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, I can't blame him for having a breather after all he's been through, Jim. Yeah. EAB now. Trying to recover to the ropes. Power's out, not surprisingly. Look at the power. Oh, Rick. If only you could have got to the top rope, but EAB, not so wisely. Sends him to the outside. He's not going to win out there, Jim. He's certainly not, no. What a three-way dance we've had. This has been unbelievable. <laughs> Rick with the counter crusher back in the ring. Oh, my God. It really has been incredible. Three really great matches tonight. Somehow, against all odds. <laughs> against all odds. We said it'd be one of the greatest Monday Night Claws we've ever had. We've not been far away from that being true. Somehow, some way. Oh, my oh God. Crusher! Crusher sends Rick 15 feet down onto the concrete. Oh, my oh, oh my no, God. Rick. EAB feeling left out. Gonna join in the madness on the outside. Oh my god. Oh, Rick. He's never going to be the same. <laughs> Somehow trying to fight back. EAB as well. Oh my goodness. Dude. What a mess. It's a hot Whoa. mess, Jim. Oh, Rick into the stairs. Crush it down and Rick into the stairs. Surely now if EAB can get Rick back in the ring, it's one on one on the super heavyweights. All oh, these blows. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. I will oh, fucking goodness. drop kick Jesus. Oh my goodness. Oh god. Stop it, Ram! Just stop it! Oh my god, you gotta pin Rick though, and pinning Rick is no easy task, even when he's dead. <laughs> oh, he's, no, he's definitely staying down this time, Jim. He's definitely staying down this time. Flip me! Why are they picking on Rick? Fight each other! <laughs> if only this was false count anywhere, but they've got to get him back in the ring. <laughs> Oh my goodness, no! Roger, stop it! Stop it! Oh no! Oh my god, this is just a murder! Oh my goodness me! Rick's somehow trying to fight back, but it's in complete vain! Oh, Rick's never going to stand up again! Where's the AP going? Oh, wow. oh my goodness! Where's the AP going? Whoa. They're fighting up the ramp! <laughs> oh my oh days! Howdy. Who's Crusher going for? He's finally going for EAB. Why is Rick standing? Stay down, you moron! <laughs> Am I a moron? <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, yes, Rick, I think you might be. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely is. Okay, Crusher versus EAB. Oh. oh my goodness, what a headbutt. But, oh, going for the pin. Wow, this could be it. Surely no one's got a kick out left. What oh on earth? God. How is anybody kicking out at this point in the match? I don't understand. <laughs> this is one of, if not the longest, six-man eliminations, in fact, any match we've ever had in JFW history. Yeah, yeah it really is. If it goes on much longer, we're literally going into tomorrow. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. Crush him. This, this could end Surely. it. This could Surely. actually Rick, end it. Don't you dare break this up. Rick breaks <laughs> it up. Rick breaks it up. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, DDT's counter. DDT's counter on Crusher. Crusher was the outside. Oh, here Rick we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That's surely it. That's surely it for EAB. He 
he's if not Rick can him, cover him. him. If Rick can cover him. Oh no, Rick, no. He's lost his mind completely. He's lost his mind completely. He's just wildly beating on extra arms, but oh no way. Oh, here we go. The flip me. Flip me, bust him open. <laughs> Coming down the head of extra arms, but as he gets eliminated, how on earth? What on earth? What on earth? That's extra arms, but Rick. <laughs> oh my god, Spear. now he's being speared. Spear. And Rick saves him. <laughs> Rick saves him. Oh my this is god. ridiculous. Oh my god. Rick, submission on Crusher. Does Crusher tap? <laughs> No! Power's out! Extra arms bot getting up! This is unbelievable. Slams Crusher back into the ground. <laughs> the two monsters wrestling, but Rick just runs in with a devastating maneuver. Oh, oh my goodness, he floors the AB with a punch! After taking down Crusher! Look at this for a submission, Jim! Oh, I've this... never seen this before! Neither have right. I, this could be it for Crusher! Don't Has stretch he just his hamstrings. Away to beat Crusher? No, <laughs> Crusher fighting out with punches. Oh wow, what a wild miss. Crusher just absolutely can't even see anymore. <laughs> Rick with the clothesline in the corner. Oh, Crusher powers through. Crusher powers through. Surely the end of Rick now. What an effort, but there it is. Oh, the spear yeah. does it. Yeah, that's Rick it. is gone. Gotta be. Rick is gone. <laughs> so we're left with the two, the two giants of the JFW. The super heavyweights who couldn't get it done at Backlash. One of them is putting themselves right back in the title picture. Oh my goodness. Crusher with a headbutt to EAB. He's beaten him once recently on Monday Night Claw. Is he going to make it twice? Maybe. The craziest thing about this is, not only did Goliath beat them at Backlash, he beat them, like, unbelievably easily. The way he beat Rick <laughs> unbelievably easy at WrestleMania. But then he today did. he was nowhere, was he? Yeah, just not, not with it at all. Maybe maybe he's only motivated when the title's on the line. <gasps> oh my goodness, Tombstone! Tombstone, pal driver! Tombstone. Cover him! Cover him, EAB! Yes! Gotta be it! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god, Crusher just keeps going. He's doing it for Theresa Mim. <laughs> <laughs> the woman who taught him how to do his entrance. <laughs> oh my days, back to the outside, the super heavyweights go. Extra arms by in all sorts of trouble. Crusher with a side headlock, but that is not going to get it done. The ref ignoring the pleas of extra arms bot somehow eventually powers out but then cannot stand. His battery has gone to zero. <laughs> no, I spoke too soon. Huge clothesline. He was playing possum. He's got the backup power, hasn't he? The classic. The classic. <laughs> Just shoves him over. Just shoves him to the ground. Oh my God. Like you are the only the second most powerful <laughs> JFW superstar. I am number one. Oh, but Crusher counters! <laughs> oh, extra arms about counters. Grabs oh, him by the horns, Jim. Yeah, it's a metaphor, but that really happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Clubbing blows from EAB. Whips Crusher back into the ring. Oh, he's gone for it, surely. Got to be. Got to be. EAB victory now. Got to be on a collision course with Goliath Games once more for the title named after himself. Programmed by his creator oh. to win tonight. This could be it. That's it. BZL, an extra arms bot. Victorious on Whoa. Monday Night Claw. Wow. Unbelievable. What a night for... Bezel in a year, B. And for JFW fans, they, they were three incredible matches, weren't they? Holy moly. Hey, really? What? This is one of the longest Monday Night's Claws we've ever had. Three <laughs> matches. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable.
somebody turned on EAB's kill switch, <laughs> I would not want to be Goliath Games. No. Oh boy, now that is that is a scary competitor right there. Certainly is, Jim. Holy Literally man. the most dominant force in the JFW. The heaviest, the tallest, the most powerful. How yeah. do you stop him? Goliath Games is gonna have to find a way. He sure is. Well. Boy, howdy, what a, what a night. Thank you so much, Rick, for the uh, co -cast. Absolutely glorious as always. Thank you, Jim. Great to be here. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.